Hi, in this video we are going to graph a linear equation. And I always like to start off with the simplest linear equation that there is. And that's the graph of the line y equals x. So the equation is y equals x. And to begin, one thing that you can always do is to create a function table. I'll pick some values for x and then compute the values for y. So let's start off with x is equal to 0. That's always a good point to pick. Well, if x is 0, then y is 0. You see why this is the easiest one? And if x is 1, then y is 1. And if x is 2, then y is 2. Now, you might say, let's do 3. But I would actually like to always try and have a negative value for x as well, just to see what happens on the other side of the graph. So if x is negative 1, then y is negative 1. Now, these values in the function table can actually also be seen as coordinate pairs. So I'm just going to draw the parentheses around them so that you can see how they actually look like coordinate pairs. So one, the first point my first entry is 0, 0. And I'm going to draw a point on my graph here. My next point is 1, 1. Remember that you always go across before you go up in your graphing points. So that's here. And 2, 2, I go into and up to. Negative 1, negative 1, I go back 1 and down 1. Notice that my points are forming a straight line. So I can connect my points into a straight line, and I can actually extend my line all the way through the graph in both directions just by following the pattern that I see based on my first four points. So this is the graph of the line y is equal to x. So now let's try an example that's ever so slightly harder. This time we'll do the line y is equal to x plus 1. So again, I'll begin by having a function table, and I'll choose a value for x. I always like to have x equal to 0. Now if x is 0, then x plus 1 is 1, and y is equal to 1. If x is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and y is equal to 2. If x is 2, then 2 plus 1 is 3, and y is equal to 3. Now again, I always like to have a negative value, so I'll pick negative 1. If x is negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so y is equal to 0. From this function table, I'll take each line and create a coordinate pair. So I now have four coordinate pairs that I can graph. Let's begin by graphing the point 0, 1. It is right here on the graph. So I'll graph the point 0, 1. Now I'll graph the point 1, 2. So I go in 1, up 2. And I'll graph the point 2, 3 next. In 2, up 3. And finally I'll graph the point negative 1, 0. So I go back 1, but I don't go up or down at all. And again, I see that these four points are creating a line. So I'm going to connect the points. I'm also going to extend the line as I see that it would continue in this pattern. And I'll extend it in both directions, trying as best as I can to go right through the crosshairs of those lines. Okay. Now this is the line y is equal to x plus 1. Now that we've done two graphs, let's take a look at our first graph and compare it to this one. 
Now I've placed the two graphs that we made side by side. On the left we have the graph y equals x and on the right we have the graph y equals x plus 1. What do you notice is the same about the two graphs? And what do you notice is different? Well I notice that each line seems to be moving upwards at exactly the same angle. And in fact, these two lines are parallel. If I were to draw this line uh, on this graph, it would run parallel to the original line. So they are, in fact, moving at the same angle. But what's different is that this line on the right seems to be moved upwards a little bit. In fact, it's moved upwards by one. So let's do another example and see if we can draw some more conclusions. So this time I'm going to change one little thing and I'm going to do the line y is equal to x minus one. Okay, And I wonder if you might have some idea about what this line looks like. But even if we don't, we can figure it out by creating the function table. So let's always start with x equals zero because it's helpful to know uh, what happens close to the origin. Well, if x is 0, then 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Now let's try x as 1. Well, if x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. And let's do 2. If x is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. And remember that I always like to have at least one negative value so we can see what happens on the other side of the equation, or on the other side of the graph. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So remember that for each entry in the function table, we can create a coordinate pair. So here I've created four coordinate pairs that I'm going to go ahead and graph. So first I'll graph 0, negative 1. Well, 0 means I don't move anywhere on the x-axis, and I go down 1 because it's negative 1. Now I'll graph the point 1, 0. So I go across 1, but I don't move up or down, and my point is right on the line. Now I'll graph the point 2, 1. So I go into up 1. And I'll graph the point negative 1, negative 2. So for negative 1, I start at the origin, go back 1, and then go down 2. So one more time, my points are all in a line. And your points should be in a line. If they're not, um, one of your points must be a mistake. Um, so let's go ahead and connect the dots and extend the pattern. and we'll do that in both directions. And there you have it, that's the line y is equal to x minus one. So now that we have this third graph, let's go ahead and compare it to the other two graphs that we had. So now I have all three graphs together on the same page. Here's the simplest equation, y equals x. The adjusted equation, y equals x plus 1. And another adjusted equation, y equals x minus 1. Now, y equals x minus 1 also appears to be running at the same angle as these two lines. And that's true, it is running at the same angle. But what's different about this line compared to the other two lines? Well, just like y equals x plus 1 seems to be moved up by 1, the line y equals x minus 1 seems to be moved down by 1. And that is no coincidence. This plus 1 is affecting the graph by shifting it up. This minus 1 is affecting the graph by shifting it down. So just using that logic and without creating a function table, I bet 
that you could now graph a line that has an equation of y equals x plus 2, or even y equals x minus 2. And in fact, you could probably pick any number here and still be able to graph this line. Um, but if you, if you want to, you can always use the function table to be sure that you're getting the correct points. So you may notice that we've been able to change the position of the line, but not the angle of the line. And if you have some questions about how to do that, you're going to have to watch the next video.